Good. As you're breathing in through your nose, make sure you're breathing all the way down to your belly. And if you want to put your hands on your belly so you can really feel it, breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. So do that a few times on your own. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And then when you're ready, you can just open up your eyes. And we're gonna go into child's pose, but we're gonna use like the prop. So the um, if you have like the couch cushion or whatever, like something that is like can support you, so you just lay on it. Put I want you to put it underneath your belly, and you're just like how we normally do child's pose. Our toes are together, our big toes, and our knees are open. And then we're just going to put it under us like this. You're just going to lay here. And your chin can be um, resting on it. Or you can put one cheek on, on its side. Or the other cheek. And we're just going to be here for a bit. And as you're here... You know, just continuing to breathe, listening to the music. Just take advantage of being in this pose and allowing the cushion to support you. You can even push the cushion like further so it's going like in between your thighs like this. So then you're torso is laying and then your arms are like hanging just breathing here And if you haven't already, yeah, um, you can turn the, the other side. So if you're on one cheek, turn it the other way. And this is a really good stretch for your neck. Just doing this simple movement, slow and steady. And just breathing. Doing a great job. And if you want, if your arms are forward, you can now like put them back like this way. So the, your fingertips are pointing back behind you. If you want to do that, 
Or you can go like this, clasping your hand, uh, hands together. If you want to like start opening up your chest. So you could be like this, like this, like this, or a T-shape. Just be here. And if you are on that other side of your uh, cheek, put your, um, if you've done both sides already, now just rest your uh, forehead. And I want you to rest your forehead on your cushion or the floor beneath you so we can start stretching the back of our neck. And just breathe here. So as you're here with your forehead um, melting like into the floor the, or the cushion beneath you, you know, reach those fingertips slightly forward to feel a nice stretch on the outsides of your arms. And as you're doing this, Relaxing your jaw, relaxing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. So as you're here, you can start like rocking your butt like down towards your heels and up if you want some kind of movement. But we're almost done here. Continuing to breathe and then slowly remove the cushion from under you. Keep it near but off of your mat or off of your area. And just sit on your bum again. Yes, okay. So take that cushion again <laughs> and now we're going to lay on our back. So this is supported fish pose. So you're just gonna put the cushion right um, at your tailbone and you're just gonna lay back, allowing, if the cushion is um, narrow enough, your shoulders will just like drop to their sides. So you're here. If your cushion is like not, um, if it's too wide, you can take you can do a couple of things. You can take, if you have blocks, you can put them long ways, like that. Or you can take your comforter or whatever you have and just put it under. Just something that's like propping your back so that you can be propped up and that your, shoulder, that your chest can open and then your legs, just let them hang. And then your arms are facing, uh, or your palms are up. So there's three different options. And as you're here and your chest is opening, 
Just keep breathing. And, and when I say keep breathing, that means in through your nose and out through your nose. So continue doing that breath. And I promise you'll feel really relaxed. going, doing a great, great job. And if you want, you can raise your arms like over your head. So you're getting like a really nice stretch here. And if your arms are over your head like me, Try to reach those fingertips like away from you. Just be here. All right, and you can put your arms back by their, your sides, palms either facing up or down. slowly you know wiggle your fingers your toes and then roll on to either side and now we're gonna do get a little more deeper into our stretch um, you can move that that cushion so we're gonna do you sitting on your bottom and we're gonna do um, don't know what this is called this is what we're gonna do <laughs> so you're gonna um, tuck your right I'll stand sit like this so you're gonna um, flex your left toes, for toes pointing to at you or facing you, bending your right leg, making sure you put your right foot like really into your, um, you know, your um, vagina area. And then you're gonna take a block or just something similar. And I'll show you what, what we're doing so then you can. So we're here. Putting our arms up, and then you're just bending forward, and you're here. So if you want to use that couch cushion, I guess maybe you could if, if like, you need this height. If you're like, no, I'm good. So whatever you need so that you can just bend over, you do that at this time. Yeah, like the other way. Yes. If that, if that feels good for you, if you want to, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's good. Good, good job. Okay. We're just gonna be here. Oh, and your arms, they can be um, like, <laughs> they can be, put them behind the pillow, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna be comfortable. Oh, push the pillow out. Can you? Can you push the pillow out? Yeah, and then like then, I don't know, just so like whatever, so you can be like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then put your arms outside of the pillow.
Great job, everybody. So we're gonna stay here a little bit longer. And just remember to unclench your jaw, let your tongue like just not be glued to your the roof of your mouth. slowly just use your arms to push you up and then switch sides so um well actually before we do that just like kick your legs out a bit and then if you want to windshield wiper your legs so you're like this and then you're just gonna you know go like this just do that a few times before we go in onto the other side Okay, so the other side, your left foot is tucked in, your right foot is out, right toes are flexed, blocks, push in, whatever it is, just so you're, you have support as you're forward folding. Breathe in, arms going up, exhale, fold over. Arms are out in front of you or by your sides, like on your hips as long as you're just folding forward. And we're breathing. And like when I'm doing this really like focusing on your forehead. So if you can like the top of your forehead, try to make it rest onto your prop and by doing that that will deepen the stretch and as you're doing that you're relaxing your jaw And also being mindful of your shoulders, trying to, you know, draw, drop them, draw them down. If you think that, it'll help relax your shoulders. So if that means you need to bring your arms nearer to your body so your shoulders can go down, then do that.
I'm gonna massage your forehead. So turn your head a little bit to the right side and then to the left. And this will help just relax your forehead, you know? So we're just massaging our forehead. And a great job. Slowly roll your body up, bringing those arms back towards you. Remove those blocks and then windshield wiper, your feet, your knees. So left, right. Kick, 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 pigeon pose. Um, this is a very deep stretch. I'm just, I'm just going to show how to do it um, and talk through it. So, um, and before I do this pose, uh, it, this pose, because it's such a deep stretch, sometimes it can make you feel like a lot of emotions. And you know, if that happens, you can go into a child's pose or you can just sit back up. Um, I just like to put that disclaimer. And so here we go. So pigeon pose, you are going to, this is actually how we're gonna get into it. We're gonna go into downward dog slowly. Okay, so we're in downward dog. Our hands are pressing into the mat beneath us. Our feet are hip width apart. We're gonna walk our dog a little bit, be a little gracious. It's really slow practice we're doing here tonight, being gentle to our body. I want you to inhale that right leg up and then exhale that right leg in between your hands. Drop that left knee, back toes are, are flat. And then you're just going to bend the right foot. So you're bending your right foot like this, behind your right hand, my bad. And then you're pushing your left leg out using block, cushion, whatever you need, because you may or you may not have a gap here and that's completely normal. So the most important thing though is that your right knee is behind your right wrist. Your left foot is behind, um, your right foot <laughs> is behind your left hand. And I'm gonna use this blanket to go under the gap that I have. So I want you to be up here for a moment. So using either your palms or your fingertips, you're sucking your belly in and you're looking up at the ceiling we're gonna breathe here for a moment. Breathe in again. And then exhale slowly, come on down onto your forearms and allow your forehead to just rest onto the mat. If you have another block or cushion, you can put that under your forehead. 
the ears here. Good job, everybody. And we're gonna be here and we're gonna breathe through it. Doing a great job. And like your hip, your, your hips need, well, your back needs to be flat. So I like to just put my hand like on my, um, my tailbone. And if it's, if it's resting flat on there, then your hips are aligned. Like if you could rest a cup on your, on your tailbone, then that's, that means you're in alignment. Remember to, to relax your jaw. more you're in this pose, you might just notice different changes. You might feel stretching in places you're not used to, which may allow you to go deeper into the stretch. And just listen to your body. And that's why we're in these poses for so long, because we're working on a, we're, we're cold, technically, yin, cold. So we have to ease into it. So just be patient, you know, just, just be patient. Excuse me, almost done on this side. Doing great. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so if you have the block underneath your forehead, you can just toss that to the side, slowly come up onto your palms, removing the blanket or whatever's under your bum. Then you're gonna straighten that back leg, so you're gonna prop that, that leg up. And then you're gonna swing that right foot back and then go into that downward dog. And we're gonna drop on our knees for a moment. And I want us to go on our back for a bit just to rebound what we did. We're gonna do knees to chest, hugging our knees to our chest, tucking our chin, squeezing nice and tight, breathing in, Exhale, let it out. 
Windshield wiper your knees left and right, doing a great job. Just letting the blood just go everywhere it needs to go. Kicking your legs if you want. Moving those, toe, those feet clockwise, then counter. And slowly just come back up. And then go into downward dog. <clears throat> If you have water, you can drink some. My voice sounds funny, so I'm going to do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now we're in downward dog. Feet hip width apart. Walk your dog a bit. Looking in between your legs um, at the wall behind you. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale that left leg out in front. Same concept. So you're going to just drop that back foot. So the right foot's gonna go down, untuck those back toes. Left knee is gonna be behind your left wrist. Right foot is um, behind, ah, I'm gonna say that. Left foot is behind your right hand. So you're here and you're pushing that right foot back. Just push it as much as you can at what feels comfortable. Most importantly is just making sure the knee is behind the left wrist. Yes. And um, you also can flex the toes. That's supposed to help keep your knee stable. When you're here, when we're up here, I'm just gonna breathe in. And then exhale, come on down, putting that um, blanket or whatever it is under your left butt cheek. Taking your other prop, putting it on your forehead, and we're here. And as you're on, on this side, you may notice, oh, I'm, I'm more flexible on this side, or you have more strength on this side. Either way, you know, just, just accept what, where, where you're at. You know, we're here, we're stretching, so we can have a good night's sleep. Doing a great job. Make sure you're unclenching your jaw, allowing your tongue to detach from the roof of your mouth. So it's just like hovering in the center of your mouth. And just breathing here.
Okay, I'm gonna remove the block from under your forehead. Tuck those right toes under. So propping up that right leg, removing the blanket under your bum. You're gonna make sure that right leg is propped. And then you're just gonna go in your downward dog, pump in those, lock in that dog. Gently bring your knees down to your mat. Sit on your bum. We're gonna do knees to chest. Slowly going back. So knees to chest, tucking your chin, breathe in. Exhale, let it all go. Windshield wiper those knees. We have one more pose and then it's Shavasana and then we're done. Okay, so now um, you're gonna stay on your back and I'll explain. Um, we're gonna do a spinal twist. Um, if you have the blocks, I'm gonna show you how you can be supported. So um, you're in your spinal twist. So, so first go, be on your back and I want you to tuck those shoulder blades under your chest. So when I say that, that means your shoulder blades, I want you to make them try to kiss each other. And this is just gonna pull open your chest, which just feels, will really feel, should feel good. And then you're gonna have your knees up and then you're gonna um, have your arms in a T-shaped, okay? And then you're gonna drop your knees to your right, all right? And what you can do is you can put one block under your ankle. So your ankle's like sitting on top of the block and then one under your knees and then you're here. And then you're looking over your left at your left hand. So we're gonna be here for a bit. And you may need to adjust your blocks as necessary. Just whatever feels like you have the most support. So just do that. Unclenching your jaw and keep breathing. slowly removing the props if you have them under your knees and your ankles then gently bring your knees to the center and then drop your knees to the left putting the props 
Now under um, your knees on the left side and your ankles. So knees are now on our left. And now we're looking over our right, on our right um, arm, our right palm, and we're breathing. And if you want to feel a deeper stretch, you may need like put your knees closer to your chest or maybe you need to bring them like drop them a little further down. Just adjust as necessary. Almost done, doing a great job. Just continuing to breathe. Slowly bring your knees to the center and now go into Shavasana. So just extend your feet out and let your feet just splay open. And then tucking those shoulders again underneath your, your chest. All right, so shoulder blades kissing. Palms either facing up or down, whatever serves you today. And we're just gonna be here in Shavasana. So if you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes or soften your gaze by looking down the bridge of your nose. 
and just thank yourself for coming to class tonight and just taking a little time out today to just get in tune and inside your body. Continuing to breathe, doing a really great job. Doing great as you're here, just lying in Shavasana. This is like the most important pose that you can do, just being still. Just giving our brains a little break. It might not feel like a break. You might have a lot of thoughts coming in your head, to-do lists of things that need to get done, and that's okay. Just notice them, you know, acknowledge your thoughts. Try not to ruminate on one thought. Imagine there's clouds up above, and each cloud is a thought. So you just place your thoughts on each cloud and just let it pass by. And every breath you take, you're just pushing a cloud, a thought 